Hey there, I'm excited to hear that Olama has just added tool support to certain models such as Llama 3.1, and I'll have a separate video just to remind you how to install something like Llama 3.1. But it's exciting that it helps a model to answer a specific prompt, given a tool it knows about, so you'll tell it about a tool. And for example, it can have functions, web browsing, and um, other uses. And you'll see that the base structure in Python, for example, for the API is you call it a chat method, you tell it what model you use, give it a base message, and then you tell it information about the tool. So in particular, what tool it is, it's a function, for example, in this case, that's called a get current weather. You tell the model, it gets the current weather for a city. So essentially it receives a parameter which has properties um, that are, for example, a string for, so for this city. And it says required is that this city property must be present or else it can't work with that tool call. Supported models will also now answer with a tool calls response. So it'll tell you, did it call a tool? So this just came out on the 25th of July. There are four tools when you live, when you go to this page, but when you click on this tools category, you'll see a longer list of all of these tools that do permit tool usage. So let's dive right in. I like to break things apart just so I can better understand them. So let's break apart their example that they provided. Uh, let's take a look at the code, the example they provided. I took their example and I'll give you the link below and we'll run this. So we'll import the both the JSON, the async package for HFMS calls and Olama. We then have flight times, which this is a simulated API that would in theory take a string for a departure, a string for an arrival, call it or offer an error. And in the error, it said would say flight not found and you would result a dump string. You would dump this uh, as a JSON string and then you'll try to essentially to call that. So then in this case, you'll have a run function. So we'll run that as well. You'll run this function as well. So in this case, I like a mod where I get to specify this as an async client where I get to specify here is my uh, different port. So I get to understand where the function calls are going. Then you have your base message. Here's the query from the user. Obviously, you can have that always input from a user input as well. And then here's where the magic comes. So you have a client chat initially. You provide the chat. You then say, here's the model that you've just taken in. Here are the messages that you've provided up top. And here you provide the function call. It says, get flight times, but that's different than what you actually have up above. You'll, I'll show you later. You tell the model what it, the example, you'll get the flight times. You tell it in this case, much like the first one, here's a departure and an arrival gate. And so, or city in this case, and then you'll require a string for both as uh, arguments to your function. And then you append the model, the message to this conversation history. So you take the response, you run it, you run the first API call to see whether it wants to call a tool. You then check to see whether the response calls a tool. If the response doesn't call a tool, you say, okay, here you didn't use a function, which can happen. Otherwise, here is where you call the function call. And then you, it references back out you function call. You then say, because you specify this get flight times, which you could call anything, um, then you say this is the function prototype as up above, which you see highlighted here. And then here in this call, for every tool call that you've called in this message, you then specify here are the arguments for the departure and the arrival for the function to call. So you assign the function to this. And then you call the function here and then you pen the result to the function response which you then feed back here to the model and then await the chat for the final response to the client. So then we include this here. And then here is normally you get to do this if this were on run directly in um, a Python script. But here in this case, you're going to just run an await setting because this is running in a Jupyter notebook. So here you'll run it, it'll run for a couple seconds, and this is a fully local tool call that you can then control from the inside. I hope you found this interesting. This was really fun as we're exploring more options. So let's take this as a first start and let's keep on going. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.